We have risen from the ashes to school of masses. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Scholars of Wrestling Show, episode 299. I'm your man behind the microphone, Scholar Jeff. That lovely man with the two big shiny belts. Targ two belts himself, the current reigning, defending, Scholars of Wrestling, World Heavyweight Champion, and Party Champion, Scholar Tarek. What's going on tonight, sir? I'm okay, sir. How are you, fool? I am delight. I am I am delight. I, I am quite thirsty. I am uh, delight. I am very thirsty. Mm. I am the table. What's in that bottle? It is not. <laughs> you know, the, the clear liquid, as you know very well, Scholar Brian. What clear liquid are we talking about? The way you just talked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And also joining us this week, the one and only Scholar Charlie. Charlie, what's up tonight, sir? Ready for the greatest wrestling weekend and our greatest prediction show. Oh, this is the greatest show! I I will allow the second one. The first one makes me want to vomit in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> At this point, I wish we just had... a. Uh, a that one sound bite just ready to go, just so we can insert greatest and just randomly <laughs> we're all throughout the show. No NXT event, no, no, nothing Friday, but it's the greatest wrestling weekend ever. Yes, because of course it is time for the greatest show. That's it's the WWE. greatest show. Of course, we're talking about WWE Backlash 2020. But before we get to the title. The match that pr- talked that is referred to in the title of the show itself. Oh boy, we got a lot of other wrestling, and since it's a pay per view, it means this is a prediction. This is a prediction show. So let's it's dive right in. Prediction show. This is a prediction show. I'm sorry, I will not do that anymore. <laughs> so yes, prediction show. The rest of you, I make no promises. Anyway, like I was saying. WWE Backlash 2020. Let's see what this show's made of, shall we? First match on the card for the United States Championship. We've got Apollo Crews versus Andrade. A rematch. Scholar, Scholar Tarek, you're up first. Who do you got? I'm going with Apollo Crews successfully defending the United States Championship. The man just won the belt. Hopefully this is just a bump in the road. And will eventually lead to something greater, possibly a heel turn for him against Kevin Owens. Yeah, this one seems fairly cut and dry for me. I'm going to go with Apollo Crews as well. Uh, to me, the more interesting question for me personally is, will Zelina Vega get involved somehow? Or will Angel Garza or someone else get involved? Uh, yes. Yes. Because I'm go- <laughs> just yes. I'm just gonna yes. Make my prediction off of that because yeah. I also have Apollo Crews winning, and I have it because further breakdown of Zelina's boys, uh, Angel Garza is gonna screw this up for Andrade somehow. Hmm. I I don't I I think that. I don't think that Zelina is going to be the one to screw it up oh, for yes. Andrade. It's going to be Angel Garza. And and I feel like the feud going for, going forward, uh, Apollo Crews can go on to Kevin Owens. Whoever turns heel there, turns heel there. Whoever it is, yeah. is going to do a great job. But, the, but this is a storyline building match for the loser. And <laughs> that's it. Hmm. It it's going to further the Angel Garza Andrade Zelina Vega storyline. Mm-hmm. Apollo Cruz retains, moves on. Bada bing. That's it. So wouldn't that Char- be a, a story for both guys? I mean, we said Apollo goes to Kevin Owens. That's a story. You know what I mean. I know what you mean. I just love the messing with that- <laughs> I love Charlie, you, Brian. Do- <laughs> Charlie, are you making it uh, four for four? <laughs> I'm letting, I'm letting these two work out whatever they're working on, and uh, then I'll go. But uh, Apollo Crews across the board, because Apollo Crews, because yes, 
But um, I think that Brian touched on uh, this gives Apollo Crews a, a chance to turn heel or whatever with Kevin Owens. I honestly think Face Owens needs to go. I want to see I want to see Owens turn out of the two of them. I'm sorry, I, I misheard you. Brian touches what now? What? I missed. I misheard you, Charlie. Brian touches what now? Brian touched on somebody's what? Heel between Kevin Owens and Apollo Cruz, and like Apollo Cruz would be interesting as a heel, but I have a feeling that there's not much depth and area to work with there. I, I'd I'd rather see Owens turn heel again because at least we've seen that and know it sticks. And and Tarek, just so you know, what I was touching was oh. I was stroking my non-existent beefcase. All right. <laughs> Brian, Brian, I'm just going to say this right now. It doesn't matter what happens. Even if you cash in on me, we'll still be the best. We'll still be the greatest tag team of the Scholars of Wrestling. High and five. You can't beat that. Air power. And, <laughs> and we are six minutes into the show, and we've already gone off the rails. This is the greatest show indeed. Six this minutes. Is the greatest show. <laughs> we're, uh, we're having too much fun. I'll even throw a big surprise at fun. the end of this. Up. Oh, okay, if you say so. Oh, moving you'll love, on. Trust me, you'll love it. You'll love it. Speaking of loving it, moving on to the next match for the women's tag titles, we've got the champions Bailey and Sasha Banks versus Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross versus the Iconics. Uh, I believe it's my pick next. Uh, oh, I wish that were, were not true. Uh, <laughs> oh, iconics. I, I'll be honest. I want to see the iconics with this with the tag titles. Uh, I'm I'm thinking about the timing on this. I'm wondering if it could be the right time to sort of set the stage for this Astra Bailey heel turn. I'm going back and forth with this. I, I really am. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to be bold. Follow your heart. I'm, I'm going to be bold. I'm going to say the Iconics. I think that it was that, that was, match. Yeah, it was that was the one. That was the one. Wow, really? I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Scholars, quick talk. What is your logic for that, for that pick? What, what were you thinking? You love the Iconics just as much as you love Lacey Evans. No, no, yes, not you do. Nearly, but... I feel like I yes, feel like do. Jeff represents the women's division like Mick Foley always does, and you're always going to see a swerve. No matter what the A women's match is on the card, Jeff's going to have an opposing Fucking prediction. Nah, no. This is the boldest prediction. Fucking <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey. That only I will only agree that up to that point when it pertains to Lacey. Uh, I don't know. You've done it a lot. See, that pick, no, 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 no. You picked the oh, iconics oh, in the past. I that's know not, I have. No, I know so I that's, have. That was my for my. Not, it will be no. too much if he doesn't choose you the iconics. Pick, it's it's like you picking the iconics. You picking the iconics is bold. You picking Lacey Evans is stupid. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, hey, wait a minute. Ta There's only I will give one. You this fool. I will give you this fool. Nobody was expecting the Iconics to win the tag titles at WrestleMania. It could be a from Sasha Banks and Bailey, so it could possibly be a history repeating itself moment. And you know it. what? In all seriousness, it's because of that WrestleMania win and their previous title win and their t previous title reign that's seriously making me wonder that, you know what? Mm, I, I think this could possibly happen. I'm like, I, I've got a weird feeling about this. I really, truly do. It's This is definitely not a Lacey Evans kind of situation where it's just, you know, every month until it happens. <laughs> this, I think there's a legitimate shot. And I think we may have dropped video on you guys. Oh, no. Uh, oh. See, I still I see you. See all, I okay, see. Well, okay, we're good. We're we're reloading. The video is coming back. I. Oh. All right, and we're back. We're good. All right. But, yeah, uh, I'm going to go with the Iconics. They are not lacy, but I'll go with them anyway. I, I, uh, 
uh, I will agree right. that there's precedence, but I actually think it's a better move to keep sowing the seeds between Sasha and Bailey. But Okay, like have Bailey be so overconfident that she's that that she almost loses it, and then Sasha Banks comes in and and wins it for the team. That's what I'm going with. I'm going with Banks and Bailey because for as as the way they were screwed over the first time. Okay, and like I I. Don't think it's a good look for them to lose the titles a week and a half out of winning them, and and mm. like I I would understand if it's a storyline to get them to their to a match at SummerSlam, but it's also the fact that I I think it's a better move to let them to let them do what the uh, Hangman and Kenny are doing in AEW right now. Like have them be have them be the champions with with seeds of descent growing mm. with them being the champions. Mm. So they so so they win, but there's obvious tension there. Like Sasha Banks has to come in and win it for the team because Bailey won't tag or something like that. <laughs> That kind of deal. So Bailey and Sasha for the win, basically to not hot potato the titles. And because I think it's better storyline progression to not to do it the way that I said to do it and not the way that the WWE normally does it. Now, as as I said, there's precedence here, so I would not be surprised, but I'm I'm going with logic here. And and Sasha and Bailey to win. Sasha wins it for the team because Bailey keeps fucking up. <laughs> Charlie, your thoughts. As much as I'd love to be confident in the iconics and be right there with you picking them, I gotta go with the safe pick of Bailey and Sasha at this point. And I, I agree, I think Sasha's gonna be picking up another victory for them. She's proving to be the strong one. So yeah. I'm going Bailey and Sasha. Uh, you'll probably see the turn in July because it's an obvious SummerSlam like first ballot match pick. So, yeah, that's where I stand. Right. Tarek, who do you got? I'm going to go with Brian and Charlie and go Bailey and Sasha. And I feel there's one more pay per view uh, before SummerSlam. I think that's when it's going to happen. That's where the breakup is really going to extreme rules. Uh, uh. That's the next event. So, yeah, okay, Bailey and Sasha. All right. Next match on the card. Uh, we've got Jeff Hardy versus Sheamus, a grudge match with P in the face. Brian, <laughs> what do you got? What up, fella? I, okay, I, I feel like Jeff Hardy's going to have his redemption moment. But he needs to get taken down a little bit further first. So I feel like Sheamus has to win here. Hmm. Jeff Hardy's been getting in when they've been having matches, Jeff Hardy has beaten him twice. Okay. I I think uh I I'm I'm going with Sheamus for the win here. Okay, Charlie. Who do you got for this one? Because I'm a coward and I'm following the beaten path. Seamus, you said? Yes, because I'm scared. You <laughs> <laughs> scared? Flawless logic. <laughs> <laughs> Tarek, are you scared? No. Seamus is going to get revenge for having pee thrown in his face. <laughs> Seamus. I'm sorry. When there's someone throwing pee in your face, I don't want you to win. <laughs> This is if that's the greatest feud. You deserve to get kicked in the face. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you want yeah. Michael God to lose? What? 
So you wanted Michaels and God to lose? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I wanted that. I wanted everybody in that oh. match to explode. <laughs> I, I wanted them all to get into that limo that Vince McMahon got into before the Chris Ben shit went down. <laughs> Yo, not even joking. Go back and watch Michaels and Vince in the in the peon segment, and it was verbatim the same exact promo. Vince cut the cut the, uh, the, the um, commercial things. He was oh everything from that was the same exact thing. Same exact script. Wow. So, of course, Vince would love a whole pee joke. Yeah. I didn't think a whole cup of pee was going to get this much of a response, but <laughs> hey, as long as we're going down this road, I'll go with Seamus to win just because I can see them extending this, maybe doing like a, a gimmicky blow off match <laughs> next month. Or at or at SummerSlam, whatever happens first. Piss on a... This is this is their who it's ran tough. over Roman Reigns. This is their who over who ran over Roman Reigns storyline of the year. Yeah. Who peed on Sheamus? Guess what? <laughs> it was Jeff Hardy. Or in this case, who was it? Sheamus who framed Jeff Hardy for killing Elias. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, all of a sudden, <laughs> and then Elias comes out, comes out of nowhere. Why do you think he hit for the people? Why do you think he hit me with a car? Because I peed on him. <laughs> I did it for Jeff Hardy. I did it for the people. <laughs> you did it for the people. <laughs> Be on a pole, people. Uh, Yours is, is dumb. <laughs> it's WWE and Bruce, and Bruce Pritchard. It's dumb, yes. but it's believable. <laughs> it. It's dumb, and Vince McMahon likes it. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, that's good shit. That's some good piss. <laughs> I heard of taking the piss, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, enough. It, it could, you know what? It could very well be. <laughs> I'm looking at the rest of this show. Like, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> seriously, I want to see this match go on second to last. Now, I want them to, I want them to have the title match, and then I want that. I want Hardy versus Sheamus, and then I want the greatest show. Jeff Hardy, you're in trouble, fella. Uh, this. Yes. This yes. is how I want the, se the segment to end. Sheamus wins. Jeff Hardy's knocked out. He throws, him into, he throws him into the stairs. Jeff Hardy's just completely out. Sheamus just pulls out his little willy and pees <laughs> all over him. <laughs> Don't you mean his little fella? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I don't want to answer that question. Moving on. For the Raw Women's Championship next match, we've got Asuka versus Nia Jax. Charlie, you're up. What do you got for this one? Asuka. Because I hate Nia Jax. Asuka because hating Nia. All right, Tarek, who do you got? Asuka. They already planted the seeds of Charlotte Flair versus Asuka. Nia Jax is just a big bump in the road. Very big bump. And I'm not uh, saying it because she's that kind of big. She's just a very, very tall woman. Oh, I was. Yeah, I know you were. <laughs> Them Samoan chicks, though. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going Asuka on this one. Yeah, it's it's not just not Naya's time yet, and it's just it's too soon. It's never Asuka, Naya. It's never Naya. And Brian. Four. Are we going four for four? Or you got a contrarian. No, we don't have a contrarian. It's it's Oscar because they want Charlotte Flair. God damn it! <laughs> and, and and as long as Oscar doesn't get murdered in the ring at Backlash, she's cannon fodder to get Charlotte Flair another title run. So yeah, Oscar 
I'll just go for the win here. Hey, All I'm right. gonna Charlotte Flair at this point, and and probably at Tarek's point. Okay, she's our Lacey Evans. <laughs> She's going to be our pick until she's not because she's got to win the title in order to lose the title in order for her to win the title again so she can get that record. <laughs> That's it. But then That's, again... Kicks Lacey Evans, though, dude. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to pick her every month until it happens. And by it, I'm talking about winning the, the women's title. Well, it. you're going to be picking her until the world ends at this point. <laughs> every month. Every month. Hey, hey Torek, I, I think we're we're going to be the only ones at the top of the mountain because he's never going to win the title again. Cause he's <laughs> unless. <laughs> unless. Anywho. Top of the order with another match on the card. We've got for the Universal Championship, the champion Braun Strowman in a handicap match versus Miz and Morrison. Full. Do I even need to say it? You do need to say it because it. Come on, man. Two a two man advantage over one man. No, no, it's gonna be Braun Strowman. No. (laughs) Hey, hey, no, no. No, this. The only thing I'm looking forward to is seeing Rambling Rabbit, and Mercy and uh, Mercy the Buzzard and uh, Abby the Witch showing up in the audience after the match is over. I was gonna say I'm really looking forward to seeing Bray again after this little break. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, this one is probably one of the more cut and dry ones on on the show, in my opinion. I'm going with Braun Strowman as well. Brian, do you concur? Actually, this was very difficult for me. No, 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 it really wasn't. I was going to say, don't lacy this thing right now. Come on. No, and this and is another storyline that sucks. The fiend comes up, and then the Fiend <laughs> comes out and eats him after the match, setting up for whenever the Fiend showdown is coming, because that's next. It better be at SummerSlam. It's- I want I doubt it. It's going to be at Extreme Rules. It's going to be at the next show. What else are they going to do? What else could they possibly do with Braun Strowman in between there? I tag just team. want to see the Fiend at SummerSlam. That's all I want. Here's You're what they're going to do, Brian. Be- they're going to do a tag team match Miz and Morrison versus Braun Strowman and Nicholas. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> All right. Well, now you've heard what we have to say. Now we turn it over to you, our wrestling listening and audience. <laughs> That'll be our show. Charlie, anything to add, or are we going for the quadfecta here? Uh, I'd love to say we're going for the quadfecta here. So <laughs> we're going for the quad here. I'm Strowman. Strowman. Wow. Strowman. <laughs> Strowman. <laughs> Get over there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> All right. The penultimate match we've got for the World Heavyweight Championship, the WWE Championship, rather. We've got Drew McIntyre versus Bobby Lashley. Uh, it's my pick, so I'm going Drew McIntyre. Again, not only is it way too early. For him to lose it legitimately. I've got a feeling that this match is, or this feud rather, is going to continue. to continue building Bobby Lashley back up. It's not quite there yet. And obviously they've got some very big plans in store for Drew McIntyre. So all signs point to Drew retaining at the greatest show. Brian, do you concur? I will say this. Okay, and the in the build up to this match, Bobby Lashley has been the most entertaining he's been since he came back. I will say that. Okay, they've built him up really well for this match. Okay, and and it actually gave me thoughts because WWE likes to pull that kind of shit. But 
In my eyes, you can't have Drew McIntyre lose the title until he's able to hold it up in front of a crowd. Hmm. So, no matter how well you build somebody right now, okay, you're not taking the title off that guy. Okay, he's the... He has looked the most like a champion out of anybody who's held that title in years. Okay, and yeah, I'm including the fiend in that. Okay, he, he's uh, main titles, universal, WWE, whatever. He's looked the most like the main top guy. In years. Okay. And you're not going to take the title off that guy. Hmm. In front of no crowd. It's not going to happen. Doesn't matter how well you build up the challenger. Okay. In fact. I wouldn't be surprised if Lana comes out and fucks it up for Bobby Lashley. And you have the, fi- and you have the final breakup of that duo. I'm not entirely certain that this continues after this might be a one-off completely, Mm -hmm. honestly, but okay. I I think that this is another uh, championship building pedigree match for Drew McIntyre build Mm -hmm. his championship reign. So when the crowds do come back, okay, it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. All right, Charlie, who do you got for this one? Well, you know they're going to go with Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley at SummerSlam for the title, man. No, Drew McIntyre is winning. And Tarek, do we have a quadfecta, regardless of whether or not that's an actual word? We (laughs) do, but I am going to be in a complete agreement with Brian with what he said. Bobby Lashley is basically look the best that he's been since he's been back. Teeing him up with MVP was the best thing that could be done for him. Forget Leo Rush. Forget the wasted, completely wasted time of uh, Rusev and Lana, which is sad because it was at the cost of Rusev. But, yeah, this is... Bobby Lashley now looks like a legit world championship contender. And if he did win... I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't be very, uh, I wouldn't be actually, I would be okay with it because they're doing so well with booking him. But don't give me that shit, Charlie. You have your opinions, I have mine. I'd be okay with it to an extent, but Drew is on fire. No, yes, that's exactly right. That's exactly, that's exactly right. Drew is on fire. That's why I'm picking Drew. He, He is right now, he is the champ and he should be the champ. I, I just love the story that they're even building with this, yeah. the claim war, him giving Bobby Lashley a claim war, and he didn't fall. It's, ba- it's making Bobby look strong. And yes, I actually do agree with Brian. I think Lana is going to be a huge factor in this that will eventually cut the ties of that stupid storyline last year. Mm. Or wait, it was earlier this year it, and it, last year. Yeah. Oh my God, that latch, that, the feud was so goddamn long. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's welcome. Pointless. They're, they're, welcome they're, to time dilation. They're finally oh. booking Bobby Lashley. They're, they're finally booking Bobby Lashley the way they should have when they brought him back in the first place. But now, no, tw- no okay. sisters, no hype man with Leo Rush. And, and can, None of that. completely it's, honestly, Okay, it's very hard. Like, they did a nice job in the last three weeks, but it is very hard to take this man seriously. It is very hard. Like, he had him do this. Why did Tark? Oh, because they had it for months. Yes, look at that. Look at that butt. So, it's like you're, you're gonna tell me. That after two years of what Tarek just did, and the Lana and Rusev shit, and the sister shit, okay, you're going to build him up like a big threat in three weeks, and he's going to become champion? Fuck that noise. Mm -mm. Like, Tarek says he'd be okay with it. I would not. It's like, you you 
three, you need more than a three week badass build for me to accept you as champion. Five weeks. Paul couldn't do it. Bobby Bobby Lashley ain't got no shot in hell doing it. That's why I still pick Drew. Okay. God damn it. So you should have said the words if you didn't I'm want. He- Back. <laughs> That's it. Gentlemen, gentlemen, uh, we are all, we are all in accord here. This is a good thing. What may or may not be a good thing is the greatest show, which is the fu- <laughs> yes, main event time, the greatest match ever in the history of everything. <laughs> Edge versus Randy Orton, Brian. Your pick is first. Who do you got? The greatest match ever. It's not even got to be the greatest match of the week. (laughs) Well, we did just get... Styles and Brian. Styles and Brian on SmackDown was holy shit, bro. So if you didn't watch it, go find find it on YouTube because holy shit, that was the greatest of the week okay uh, uh, you're telling me it's the greatest match ever it might not even be the greatest match of the night <laughs> but, but who wins okay the move that I would want would be for Edge to win so that we can move on The but what's gonna happen and I would laugh real hard if what Charlie said this morning they taped it for longer than the match at WrestleMania, and then it ends in a draw. <laughs> but, okay. The greatest it's going to be a trifecta. It's going to be a trifecta. They're going to they're gonna space it out. At, at, uh, at SummerSlam, they're going to have the finale match. Okay. Uh, Edge won the last man standing match. Randy Orton's gonna win the gonna win the standard wrestling match, probably via chicanery. <laughs> okay, and 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 I don't know how they're gonna end it because they're already going ass backwards. They had the last man standing match last first, so yeah, Randy Orton wins here. All right, Charlie, bring us home. Who do you got? Uh, Orton's winning it. It's plain and simple, plain and simple. Because Tarek plain knows. And simple. Plain and simple. And I, I, I understand why Tarek's <laughs> like that now. Brian it's Brad. all coming. It's all coming together. Tarek, <laughs> make it official. Who do you oh. got? He <laughs> knows! <laughs> What what do you I, I, I need you to pick, say it. I have to pick this. The saddest I have to, of, I have to, I have to pick this. To either way I win. You, you don't you don't necessarily have to. Yes, I do. Either it, way it, I win. Yeah, no, at this point he does have to. <laughs> either way I win. He well, either on, picks the competitor or he ties with Brian. It's well, hold on, hold on. If if we let's really think about this, if given that it looks like you've got the same exact picks up until now, technically, if Edge wins, if Edge wins and Tark picks Edge, that will break the tie, and then you won't be able yeah. to cash in the beefcase. <laughs> Winning though, that's... but it, it's like the only. It's the only out. Like, if you think he's, yeah. if Tarek thinks there's any chance at all that Edge is going to win this, I would say his best bet in that right now is to pick Edge to oh, avoid a tie. I have to pick Edge. I have to pick Edge. Are you picking <laughs> Edge? Oh, I see what. Okay. I yeah. have to. Yeah. I have all to. Right. There's no. There's no way around I'm, it. I'm I have like, to pick Edge. So you might- Get out of the tie. <laughs> Brian's right. like, fuck you all. <laughs> well, actually, I take that back. I take that back because technically, 
if we're talking about the rules of this, it can only break a tie to win. So there's only two ways that a tie can will not happen. No, no, but if, get, Tarek, if, if Tarek what? takes the L on a non-title, then it doesn't matter. But so no. No, if t- right now, if Brian either ties or gets a higher score than Tarek, he can cash in the beefcase. Oh, he can cash in still. If, oh, okay, got you. Yes. However, so, there's one other alternative. My bullshit predictions actually come true. <laughs> I win, and thus oh Ryan can. And then Tarek, it's because that he is not the winner or ties with the with the winner, then he can't cash in on me because I'm not the champion. So therefore, Tarek will still remain the champion. You better pray for the freaking iconics. I mean, ultimately, again. Tarek, and you're the champion. The is yours. There's also the other alternative where I go, fuck it. I I feel like fucking with Tarek some more. I'm not gonna cash oh. in. <laughs> That's it. That's it. And Tarek, in all seriousness, you know you know the rules of the game, you know the possibilities, you know what's likely and what's not. Do you wanna think who you're gonna go to win, or do you are you going to go play the more strategic route? The choice is yours. I'm going to go the more strategic route and and actually put the title on the line against you, fool. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! oh God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out. What? What? What, what are you actually saying? What, what? Hold on. I think Jeff just talked himself into a title shot. <laughs> no, no. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I was actually planning, because Jeff and I tied the last event in winning, I was, depending on how the predictions were going to go, I was going to give him a title match. And because you went different with me, I'm actually putting the title on the line against you, fool. Okay. So this is a legit <laughs> title match. But just so we're clear, if Brian ends up tying with the winner, if Brian ends up tying with the winner between the two of us, technically he can cash in this beef case and become the champion. Are yeah. we all are we all in agreement here? Yeah. Okay. All that being said, <laughs> all that being said, Tarek, you- what is your official pick for the greatest show? You know what? Fuck it. And Tark, Tark, you and I, both have to- I put the title on the line against Jeff. And even if I don't, you know what? Tark, two belts, two belts will return eventually. So you know what? Fuck it. I'll predict Edge. Oh, okay. Shit. Oh man. All right. All right. Either All way, right. No, either way, I'll be happy with either of you. Winning the belt, and I will be even more happy if Jeff wins the belt and Brian cashes in on Jeff. <laughs> but we've also hold on. We've also officially determined that in such a scenario, because of the Charlie loophole, technically, if that happens, it's still a technically a title reign for me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. You would basically tie. Actually, it would be even more funny. Because I think Charlie would have had the title longer than you have. <laughs> yeah. For this reign. For this yeah. reign. For this reign, yes. Because how many matches did you hold it for? Two or three? Two. Two, Two yeah. and three. So, yeah. yeah. I'm the... All right. New record. Shortest title reign. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yes. What? What the hell was I'm going to actually, I'm going to have fun with this. I'm going to have fun with this. So, yeah. I, I'll, I'll pick Edge. Just because I, I, either way, I'm losing. I'm most likely losing the belt. So you know, what? if I'm going to lose the belt, I'll lose the Unless belt. Unless Edge fight. wins. Unless Edge wins, yes. But it's All very. Right. It'll be very hard, big stretch. And if I wanted Brian to cash in on me, I would have him earn that cash in. Other than just, oh, we just so happen to have every match the same. I'm the real winner here because I get to just watch the three of you bite each other's nails. So this is fantastic. 
had nothing to win or Hey, guess lose. what, Charlie? I just made the greatest show much more entertaining for you. And, yeah. and right. also, hey, and, thank you all. <laughs> you should and, thank and me. Well, you should thank me for this because I was I've been plotting this in my head for all we, ever since the ending of uh uh in your house. <laughs> no, and it's also Char- Charlie's just happy that I don't get it. I don't I don't plot against him this year like I did last year. <laughs> That's that's why I was also looking for. That's why I, that was another reason why I was hoping you picked the iconic school. Okay. Okay. All right. So at first, at I thought you were just screwing with, with me. All right. All right. So officially, I will in that in the spirit of all of this madness, I will officially make my prediction for a Randy Orton. Yeah, I'm convinced that Randy Orton's going to win this. He's going to start calling himself the greatest pro wrestler ever. Bing, bang, boom. We're going to oh, extend yeah, this feud to SummerSlam. Absolutely. You know, maybe he'll do a hell in a cell or something. I don't know. <sighs> so, finally, at long last, those are our predictions for the greatest backlash show wrestling thing ever. And I already have a we- title for next week. Oh, do you now? Because this is not the greatest show in the world. No, no. no. This is just a tribute. <laughs> you got to believe yeah. it. And I wish you were there. Yeah. It's just a matter of opinion. Uh, <laughs> got to love Tenacious D. It actually <laughs> does. Considering t- next week is going to be episode 300, a big time milestone for us. It actually it's is going to be, be called, a This is tribute. just a tribute. That's going to just be the Six title next week. Six <laughs> years. Holy shit. Know, <laughs> yes, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But before we do, now is the time where we turn it over to you, our wrestling listening, viewing, and predicting audience. What do you think is going to happen that's the greatest backlash show ever? Are, are the results going to be cut and dry, or are there going to be some surprises, both in, in the actual show itself and for the Scholars Wrestling Championship. Let us know what you think. So all across the internet, we want to hear from you. <clears throat> Facebook, YouTube comments, and our personal tw- favorites, Twitter machines. Drop us a line anywhere across the internet, starting with at ScholarsOW on Twitter for all the latest episode uploads from the Scholars Wrestling Show. And, of course, if you want to join the conversation and the live tweeting during Backlash this weekend, you can join us on our personal Twitter accounts. Starting with you, Fool, where can they reach you? You can reach me for the last time, at least for right now, Tarek Two Belts at the Avatarik. And still the longest reigning party champion. <laughs> Just because. <laughs> because you don't because you don't have enough to boast about. <laughs> the longest reigning party champion. You know what? I'm making the mid-card title so relevant. <laughs> Thank you, COVID. <laughs> also, Brian, where can he reach you? You can reach me suddenly being very invested in this event <laughs> at <laughs> Atomic Beautiful. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and You're Charlie. Welcome. Charlie, where can they reach you? At Charlene. At Charlene. Charlene. And you can... Charlene... And you can reach me at I'm Robbie Rage. Join the conversation. Join in all the fun. Because, you know, that's what we do around here. You already know who we are. We are the Scholars of Wrestling, and you have just been schooled. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> see, you, see you all at the greatest show. Oh. Oh.